what saved me was music. Music showed up just at the right time. When I would hear songs coming through the radio, they would just captivate every bit of my thinking, every bit of my emotions. Now, there's been a lot written about this. What can you tell me about walking away that maybe you haven't talked about before? <laughs> well, it was a combination of the passion for music had left me. I could not, you know, find the honest passion for singing. And because of that, I was stepping into some other, uh, uh, dare I say, party behaviors to augment my frustrations. And then I think my voice was also suffering. I think everything started to suffer for me. Uh, and it did not help restore my passion for music. So eventually, the feeling just got very clear to me that I need to just stop. And I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what I was going to do or where I was going to go. All I knew is that I can't keep doing what I'm doing. I need to just stop because this is not going anywhere good. Now, were drugs a part of this? Women a part of this? Uh, certainly drugs and drinking were part of it, of course, yeah. I mean, that came with the times, you know. Uh, it's a funny thing about success. When you do get a chance to finally live that dream that you you... You, you wanted when you were seven years old, eight, nine, 12 years old, and you get it. Now, I'm not complaining, Dan, I'm not complaining, I'm just telling you in my heart. When you finally get that, and you're loving it, it's kind of at some point, a little bit of a luster starts to wear off over and over again if you keep touring and keep turning the same wheel over and over again. And I think it leaves room for the opportunity for other enhancements, dare I say, to replace some of the lack of luster that it once had. So you walk away? I walked away. Did you ever? What did you do? <laughs> I bought a Harley Davidson in Visalia, California, because my, my hometown was Hanford, California, about 18 miles away. And I would drive that Harley in the summertime. Back Excuse then. me, had you been into motorcycles before? No, I decided that was gonna be my new passion, was motorcycles. So I bought this Harley, and I, there was no helmet law back then, and my long hair was flying 20 feet in back of me, you know? And I, I rediscovered parts of my life that I had completely forgot about. So I was reconnecting with my childhood and actually reconnecting with the loss of my mother that I'd lost. You know, she had died before. Um, and went out to visit other departed relatives, pretty regular, to try to just connect with my life where it is right at that time. Because when you re-enter the Earth's atmosphere of your life after a ride like that, you gotta do something, you gotta ground yourself somehow. So I did a lot of that. Mm -hmm. 